I'm Sam Kavanaugh. My name is Corinne Connor. Hi, I'm uh, Bryce Bunn. My name is Brett Mason. Hello, my name is Leon, and I am also transgendered. I identify as a writer, I identify as, you know, pro-feminist, I identify as, you know, a friend. Yeah, I'm a carpenter, I'm a set designer, I build props, I, um, you know, I will go to war with a friend if I care about them enough, you know. I'm way too nice to way too many people. Okay, so uh, if I was to be asked what it means to be transgender, um, basically it's somebody who is born in one body, so visual, visibly male or female, but somebody who has a mind then of the opposite. So um, I was born a woman, so my, myself I was born uh, physically female, but my mind is male. I was born a girl, and when I was old enough to figure things out for myself and, and decide what I wanted to do with my future, I decided that who I was wasn't female, and who I was was a boy trapped in a girl's body. So I decided when I was old enough that I would have doctors change me and help me transform into a boy. The unknown is more scary than knowing a lot of times. And then when people do find out, yeah, it's awkward for them, I always find, because then they're suddenly really aware of not only me, but themselves and everyone around them. It's like, oh my god, how many more times does this thing occur? I'm not doing this to make them uncomfortable. I'm doing this to express myself and to be myself. You're transgendered? Oh my god. I'm not. Who else is? And then it's just like, no, it's cool. We're everywhere. Let's continue drinking coffee. I've lived a different life and have um, different circumstances, but I'm still human just like anybody else. So about half of all trans people have attempted suicide. Using public washrooms is sometimes an issue. You never know kind of who's thinking what or who's saying what. 80% of trans people have been in a domestic violence relationship. Let's teach somebody something positive about something that is so outside of most people's experience, right? If people don't talk about it, if, if people don't discuss the issues or move past them and get to know the people under, you know, under their skin for, for just who they are, we're going to continue to have, you know, genocide and hate crimes and all sorts of, you know, ridiculous things that, out there based on, on small facts, you know. I like to think that, you know, everyone is equal in society and that, you know, no one deserves to be discriminated against because of who they are. I'm becoming the man I've always wanted to be. They, they want to ask me a weird genitalia question and I'm going to answer it because this is my life. Like, this isn't awkward for me. I'm not talking about you. I'm open to all questions. I don't, you know, as long as you're not intending them to be rude, I'm not going to find them rude. Being transgender isn't, isn't reprogramming, it's just being genuine. Just being genuine.